Rebecca wants to split her going this morning. She's gonna try again today to split some kindlin for starting our fires. Can you come here and hold the camera for a second? Really? Just turned off. I feel like there's some dirt in it or something. We've had Mark fix this a lot. In 30 years, it might be on its last leg. What do we do? This fuel line is on. It was off. But we need to let it sit for a minute. On. It ran yesterday afternoon but I didn't let it run long it ran for a little bit this morning so maybe it wasn't fixed yesterday or maybe it was because it was warmer it's gonna keep trying you gonna keep trying huh. look at this what's going on a lot of action today Kubota apparently, well Kubota is replacing this RTV. I guess it was slightly used before they gave it to us, so they're getting us another one. Okay. Can't oh. stop, won't stop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, acting like he's gonna retire. I tease Fred because he says he's gonna retire. I don't know, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's switch into uh, Sally because we want. Willie needs to be available. <laughs> Alex getting a feel for pushing a cow. Go ahead. Come on. Ex football player, let's see what you got. <laughs> Alex versus the 1200 pound cow. He's from Texas, he's <laughs> Come on. Texas represent. Now he gives it some ump. There you go. I left my seat in Willie. This would be a good time to test my squatting ability. That's not too bad. It's actually not too bad. I didn't do it, but I'm doing it. Thanks. Papa, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. This is a little high. Will you guys get me the pail? Uh-oh. Hold on, Gideon. Look, 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 look behind you. Come help with the nacho. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you for coming. There he goes. Josiah brought my stool. Thank you very much, Josiah. Arun and Alex have her. Lily and I have Flossie. This is gonna be the trick. Yeah. We haven't had any drama here yet. But it's like, we're just waiting. Cause this is quite the gap. I feel like maybe I should have went more that way. Yeah. We haven't had this problem before, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just pulled a law of attraction and caused this on myself. Thinking negative thoughts. Let's try this again. It's been sitting in the sun a bit. This don't give up easy. Yeah. It just cut off. All right. I give up. I purchased a new one. It's shipping to the store. Then they're going to assemble it for us. Nice. But it's gonna it's it's gonna be a while. I'd say it's okay to invest in a wood splitter. Yeah. Because it's been 30 years. Yeah. And we have spent and a lot of money. on We that heat 100 percent of our house with wood. And we've tried. It's not like it like broke once and no. we we're like. Yeah. I've had I've had Mark fix it like three times. And, and, it, and, and then every time I go to do point. it, it won't start. Yeah, that was probably about 15 years ago. We need something yeah. that works. We want something that you can go out there and yeah. put some wood on. Yes, I agree. So what'd you get yourself? 
I got myself a North Star. Okay. How many tons? 37? 37 tons. I, I bet that thing's 20 tons. Oh yeah. You're gonna no, really go to this, town. There's a lot of good reviews on it, so I was like, yeah. And you can purchase, if you want to, and I know you're kind of against it, the four splitter. Yeah, I don't really if like that. If you want but... to, well you just put it on to the thing that's already there. Oh, okay. So you can take it on and off. Okay. I didn't buy it. Is Fred actually working for us today or is he No, he's doing that? Big Daddy, but yeah. Fred will start working for us. He's going to start looking around. Okay. We got lots of projects, lots of pasture clearing, clearing around the pond. Oh, good. Uh, it's going to be a big, big job. I'm excited about the clearing around the pond. Eventually, we're going to put in a pond way up there to, to, to feed our, our animals. He's clearing that pasture this up there, the, Papa? This he's is going to be the winter the of progress. So we need to get ready to go for when Kubota gets here, we can go after that and hunt down the spring. What do you think? Yep, that's it. Okay, but we gotta do this mill. I was talking to Mrs. Boobtube about how to find a spring. <laughs> We're on to it. We basically doing what it said. You find a ravine and you travel it up. See if you can't find a spring. So, all right. Oh, William, I miss him, but I don't know if this, if this one's any different. <laughs> I think it's the exact same right. model. No, the roof's different. No, it Is hasn't it? got no blankers. That's okay. Let's make sure we got everything. We got a glass. Yeah. Oh, we got a solid roof. Oh, wow, that's this different. This is cool. It comes out to four seats. There's a mirror. Yeah. Where do you see a mirror? Right here, there's a mirror. Oh, it's got a, a, a mirror so you can see your load in the back. Bed looks nice. This is cool. And then we got Wait, the electric Papa, dump bed. Papa, so it's pretty much the same. On, on what? Ball. Oh, get the ball off, yeah. Good call on our ball, guys. Let's get let's let him get it strapped in first. And this thing is cool. Get it, the ball in. He's got the key, let's test her out of it. Actually we should put this back so we can all go. Yeah, it's brand new. I can't get it to go still. And I get the seat belt on. Still got our favorite feature. <laughs> Woo! Got back test driving Willie. He's driving great. We're gonna hunt down springs. We're gonna find. The goal is to find a spring really high up. Why are we, we doing this today? Why not? We have to work out. I'm already tired. Oh. <laughs> True, we have our training today. Well, this is a warm up. You guys see that ravine over there? Yeah. We followed it up to there, but we got to keep going. It could be from runoff, but it could also be from a spring. It could be from both. The only way we know is to track it down. We've tracked that ravine up to this old logging road, and now we're going to climb up this to see if we can't see if there's water up at the top. What do y'all think? No. Y'all pay attention for extra green. Pay attention for wet, wet. Pay attention for like rocks and gravel. You want a camelback for your for your tea? Apparently I need that. Isn't this pretty though behind you? I think this would be, oh, are you okay now? this would be fabulous pasture. Especially further down, it's not as steep. Yeah. What do you think? What's over there? That's a big old ravine, which we, we need to follow up one day, I was going to see. Yeah. One ravine at a time, okay? I'm so tired. Okay, they're way up the hill. It's pretty dry right here. But the other spring we found, it was it was dry pretty much till you got right up on it. This is incredibly steep. Oh my word. This is probably 40. And it's about to get 45 way up there. That's crazy. Are we at the end? Okay, well we're almost to the end because I can see the ridge. We've come to a ball. So steep. They went on. I'm gonna let them go on. I'm gonna say there's no spring head. That this is just runoff. They're way up there at the top. Hey Beck! You staying down? Yeah, I don't know if there's nothing up here. Well they went on up to the top. I went to the top of the ravine, they went to the top of the mountain. 
I'm gonna wait on a report. Let's go down and see if we can't find another ravine we can try. So that's where healing and blooms end up, huh? Always wondered. Looks like Henry's losing his hat. I can't tell if it's in the ergo though. I didn't see it. It's not in there? No. Was it with me when I went up that hill? It was. Oh gosh. Just saw us climb back up the mountain looking for that hat. Are we sure that you didn't lose it earlier, Mr. Henry? We're gonna keep going up this logging road looking for side shoot. We could even look to the right. The giant ravine. If we found a spring up here, that'd be money. That would be the one. So we're definitely high enough to feed the entire farm. I should probably walk down in it. See if it's more wet. It's not yet. Your mama like that. Wow, I thought that one was red. Look at that one. Interesting how I'm getting to the top of these ravines and it's this bowl. I'm seeing a pattern. The top of the ravines we have a bowl. So these just must be runoffs. I'm at the top, I'm calling it. Before my heart beats out of my chest, I'm calling it. I think we'll head back. Okay, we've 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 explored two ravines. Probably a dozen more to go. Here, Rebecca, I got you something. Oh, you <laughs> you've been picking them up. No, Lily. Got oh, I got these. you some red ones. Lily got these for me. Okay, good. Here's you some red ones. Everybody's thinking about you. Let's go down right here. I want to see what's at this rhododendron down here. Okay. My thought on is if this can be run off or a spring, the spring could be lower down. What's the uh, elevation here? This is the, the spring we found the other day. 2380. Teddy's drinking it. Wait, okay, so we're at 2380. Uh -huh. So remember that. Which, when I checked it when we were on that hike with Lance, we yeah. were only at 2290. This says 2380. We had to be higher than that. Let's see what it is when we get down to the house. What's the elevation down here, Beck? It says we're at 2300 down here. So what is that? It says 80 feet. feet. 80 feet, okay, let's figure out the math. All right, Lance had, uh, my water guy had emailed me the, the math, so let's go find out. Rebecca, it's one pound per square inch for every 2.31 foot drop. So what is that? 80 divided by 2, 2.31. That's 34 pounds per square inch pressure. I don't seem like a lot of pressure. Normal PSI for a home pipe system is between 30 and 80 PSI. So we're right there at 34. So it would be kind of nice to find a higher spring. Because we're going to have to go down lower with the water tank. So we're going to be at the minimum. On today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show, Featuring none other than the beautiful one. Dutch babies. What do you got in there so far? I got eggs and milk and some arrowroot and I'm about to put coconut in. Are you calculating your measurement? What's the matter? What are you sifting it for? That's what the recipe calls it? for it. Well, it's they just, just want really fine it's stuff? It's just like real gritty Okay, stuff. how much are you gonna do? Um, well, I'm making two, so I'm just making a second pot. You have a layer of butter in this pan. What's that for? That's how you do it. You put the butter in it and melt it, and then you, I got the, st the concoctions in the, the blender. How'd it turn out, Mom? I think it So then you're going to do this Dutch baby. Mm -hmm. You're going to put, you're coming here next, fried apples, and then we just whipped cream. Alex helps us whip some cream, sweeten with honey. And then cinnamon, you need cinnamon. So everybody's wondering, where is this Dutch baby recipe? Give them the Dutch it's baby on the recipe. Internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know where? I'll have to look it up because I took a screenshot. Okay, we'll have to give. Oh no. Can you get me a it. link for Dan to put it in there? Yeah, we'll put it, we'll okay, because people will be mad at us. I know they will be. Because they're going to want this Dutch baby. Because who doesn't? Look at it, it's amazing. It's Josiah doesn't. likes the Dutch baby. How's the Dutch baby? It's baby. delicious. I see it. It's so good. That is good. That is good. Gideon really likes it. Is there eggs in there? How is it, Alex? Good. It's on, it's on. The question is, are you going to take the recipe and cook it for your girlfriend? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's a winner. 